In this presentation, I will cover an acupuncture prot protocol for horses with anhydrosis. Anhydrosis is a condition where the horse is not able to sweat. Horses can also suffer from something called hypohydrosis, which is a decrease in sweat production, but anhydrosis is when they do not sweat at all. Horses who are unable to sweat are at, are at risk for overheating, especially when you live in um, hot climates, like I'm in Florida, and right now the weather has been extremely hot and many horses are suffering from anhydrosis. Anhydrosis can be temporary or it could be a permanent condition. So it could be something that's happening because they've been sweating a lot due to high temperatures and their sweat glands become fatigued, or it could be a condition where the horse does not sweat again um, at all. It's not really any great treatments for anhydrosis. If you call your veterinarian out, um, they don't have like medications or anything really to help with it. Um, and this is because the exact cause is unknown, so it can be difficult to treat. But they'll usually recommend that you give them electrolytes. Some vets will recommend Chinese herbs and others will recommend, recommend acupuncture, which has been proven to be quite efficient. And research shows that acupuncture performed three days in a row is the most effective for horses suffering from anhydrosis. The acupuncture protocol that you can follow is to stimulate the following points. Large intestine 4, bladder 13, bladder 22, heater 7, small intestine 14, and kidney 7. I will show you where these are located momentarily. You want to leave the needles in for at least one hour. And you want to repeat this daily for three days or until the horse starts sweating normally. If you do not want to use needles or you do not have needles, you can use a cold laser in place of the needles. When using a cold laser, you want to stimulate each of these points for 30 seconds at a time. Large intestine 4 is located on the medial side of the foreleg in the depression between the second metacarpal bone, the splint bone, and the third metacarpal. It is a source point, it can relieve pain, and it is a commonly used point. Bladder 13 is located at the caudal edge of the scapular cartilage at the eighth intercostal space. It is also a lung association point. Bladder 22 is located at the first, that should say lumbar, autocorrect got me there, intervertebral space. It is a triple heater association point and it relieves abdominal pain, hormone problems of the thyroid and adrenal glands, and it can also help with lower back pain. Heater 7 is located on the caudrolateral aspect of the radius in the depression caudal to lateral ulnar muscle at the level of the accessory carpal bone, so in the knee area. Small intestine 14 is located on the cranial border of the scapula, one third of the distance from dorsal to ventral. And lastly, kidney 7 is located directly proximal to kidney 3 on the cranial border of the Achilles tendon. It is a tonification point, and it stimulates horses that are fatigued and aids in relief of hawk and back pain. Now please enjoy this video demonstrating the anhydrosis acupuncture protocol on blackjack. <laughs> 